Hi Virgos, this is your part two um, for January 2015. So for the next card we have, it's the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is, it could mean arguments, um, disagreements. It's deceit, hidden agenda, unfair dealings. Um, with these cards, because like this card was partnership, but partnership can mean uh, a business partnership, and um, uh, trying to think of a way to put it. Um, okay, in my circumstance, um, I was fired from a job that I worked at for ten years. Uh, I was a tin basher. Um, I worked in a shop full of men, one of two girls, um, and I had a few uh, of the bosses that just didn't like me. I was a good worker, had some of the best times in there. Um, those guys were like family to me, and I got fired. Um, so it's like that's the heartbreak card because, and it, that has nothing to do with um, a romantic relationship this heartbreak card for me and I do have Virgo Ascendant so um, when I was fired um, I had I belonged to a union I had to go to the union file a grievance and try to take them to court for wrongful dismissal and uh, the union dropped the case and it's a to me this is an easy win um, the case and I've been going through quite a bit um, depression and all the emotions that come along with leaving family because those guys were like family um, and I do feel burdened so and I'm saying this because maybe this will resonate with somebody out there um, and because the union dropped me I had to go to the human rights and human rights told me to go to work safe and the labor board so I'm now in the process of doing that and it's it's a heavy burden to do all of that and I need to continuously push through um, to do this and um, I'm dissatisfied because I don't want to be in that position I don't I don't want to do that I care very much about these guys um, and there's gonna be arguments and me taking this action means that um, some of these people I'm never gonna have to never gonna deal with again um, but I have to proceed um, on my path and there's two paths here um, because these guys were liars, um, the bosses that I had issues with, they're liars. Um, they screwed me over, they bullied me and harassed me, um, and that's not right. You can't do that to a person just because um, you don't like them personally. Um, it was work-related, uh, they should have treated me like any other man in there, and they didn't. They treated me much harsher, punished me when there was no need to punish me, um, and some of it was jealousy. Because I'm the type of person, if you bark, I bark, you bite, I bite. Um, and they thought, some one of the bosses thought, because he was a man, um, that he could control me, and you can't. You need to respect respect me and talk to me like a person. Um, if you want to disrespect me, uh, I'll do my best and to walk away. I'm not going to disrespect you. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know that you cannot treat me like that. And um, me going to court, dealing with the lawyers, is, le is me telling them I'm correct in them. Um, it's higher, higher learning. Um, government right um, they can't do that to a person you can't you can't mistreat a person and um, maybe some people would let them get away with it but um, I'm not gonna let them get away with it and by all means it's not easy for me to to be doing this um, to the company I worked for um, because I care about them so much um, and and I've had to battle myself um, in order to get the courage um, and to carry the burden like this card says here, carry the burden. Um, in the end, I know I will be rewarded, but I'm dissatisfied by doing it. And this card was in re reverse. It's a partnership that I've given up with that company. Um, but, you know, those guys have lessons that ne they need to learn, and I have lessons that I need to learn. Um, and there's going to be arguments when it comes to court and separation. Um, and I do need rest, and that's the cards there. So, uh, hopefully me telling you guys that um, will help some of you because it, it doesn't have to be about um, romantic relationships. Um, a situation could be very similar to you guys. Maybe some of you have to stand up for your rights, whether that's with a spouse or a family member. Um, but just know uh, 
if you're doing something because you think it's what's, what's right, um, you'll be rewarded in the end. And um, all that suffering, hopefully, um, will just be lessons for you guys. Um, and you'll be victorious. Um, I see this card as being victorious. It means argument, but you can see the sun coming through and it's shining. And you got this guy with this flag given up and this guy's holding all of these swords, which are lessons, in his hand. And he has the other one raised up like, you damn right. I call it the damn right card. <laughs> damn right, you better give up. Um, and these guys didn't think I had the balls to do it, but um, this is what I'm doing it has nothing to do with um, winning money, it's about morals and ethics. Um, and I have boundaries, and they cross them, and um, they need to know that they cannot cross those boundaries, because they'll do it to, again to somebody else, and I wasn't the first person they did it to, the other person uh, they did it to was five years ago, and he, um, he ended up quitting because he couldn't handle it, and um, I don't blame him. I mean, there was days I was going home crying because of, of the stuff that these guys did. Um, but I need to keep that the, the hope and the faith that, uh, you know, in the end it's all going to work out. And um, it will. You know, like with the, with the Seven of Pentacles, uh, this is a card showing you that, um, yes, there's money. Um, it's hard, hard earned. You put the work and the effort into it. It took time to grow, and you can see it's just one lady. She has to pick it and put it in her basket, and her basket only has room for one. So she's got to take it back to her house, and then she's got to take it to the market. So I mean, it's 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 a slow and painful um, progress, but it is progress. It's a, a slow and painful burden, but you're gonna make it to the market, and you're gonna overcome it. Um, you just got to keep pushing, and that's what this card's telling you. Keep pushing, and people are going to try to attack you, but in the end, they're going to give up because you were victorious. You stood your ground. You have boundaries. You have morals. You have ethics. You have standards for yourself, and if somebody's crossing that, don't let them. Put your foot down. It's hard, I know, but um, you can do it. So with the seven of pentacles it's work and patience um, rewards and it's good news financially so if you are um, financially strapped there'll be some, maybe this what this is some creative idea might come to you and it's gonna take some time you're gonna have to plant the seeds let it grow and that takes time it's seasonal right so for the last cards we have the Four of Swords, and the Four of Swords is about rest and recuperation. You have a lot of blue energy, and blue is emotion. Uh, you do have a, some emotion, um, mental, it's mental um, emotion you guys are experiencing right now. Maybe you need to write stuff down um, to express it. Um, if you guys are frustrated, this card could also be frustration. I mean, you're overburdened. Um, get your emotions out by... You can pick up boxing, get that frustration out, um, doing some boxing. Um, even playing hockey or soccer. I'm a soccer fan. There's pick up, um, pick up soccers. I think Twitter does it, where they'll post a game um, on Twitter somewhere in your neighborhood, and it's just pick up. You can go whenever you want. As you get better, you can do more games. Um, uh, or write your emotions down. Maybe watch a movie, cry it out, get that emotion out. There's nothing wrong with doing that, nothing to be embarrassed about. We're human, we're allowed to have emotions, we're allowed to feel. It's rest and recovery following strain. So, after all of this, um, you need to make sure that you take that time for yourself. Um, and if you're not feeling grounded, then you guys sh should go for a hike or something. Um, maybe even go to the water, a beach, uh, um, if you live in a country where it's hot. Right now it's too cold to go to the beach over here. And for the last card, we have the Three of Swords. So there's going to be some sort of heartbreak. Uh, like I said, in my case, um, I'm losing like 100 people that I, I grew up with. 
pretty much. Um, some of these guys are like uncles and brothers to me. Um, and as hard as it, as it is, I, you know, I understand that I have my life path and they have theirs. And um, I have new lessons that I gotta learn and, as, and they have lessons that they have to learn. Um, there is karma. I believe in karma. What goes around comes around. So there's no need, um, if this is you being deceitful, there's no need to be deceitful. Um, take the higher ground. What goes around comes around. Um, and if somebody's treating you bad, if uh, let them know. Tell them that they can't speak to you that way, um, nor treat you that way, and walk away. Call them on it, right? People are shocked when you do that. As a Sagittarius, I'm blunt. I, I'm straight to the point, and it's off-putting for some people. It's actually shocking to some people, and um, it's just it's part of who I am. And usually, I don't realize I've done I've done I blatantly said something until afterwards. But um, I it has its good points and its bad points, right? Sometimes we need to hear those things that we don't want to hear to make it a reality. Uh, the Three of Swords can also mean um, you're just being separated from somebody that you care about. You're you're not able to see them right now, whether it's long distance. Um, they could just be uh, overseas or maybe a family member. Something happened with their family and they got to go back to see their family and you're just being kept from them. Um, or it could mean, you know, maybe somebody's trying to keep you from somebody else. Um, with this card, somebody's trying to be deceitful. Uh, with this card, I see an eye in it, so maybe this person who is being deceitful has green eyes or blue eyes, I'm getting. And I don't know why I felt that was necessary to say that. This card is quarreling, misery through separation. Um, if it is a heartbreak, uh, you just need to realize time. This is rest and recuperation. It's going to take time. Um, because of the Three of Swords, I wanted to clarify it and I used my um, Angel cards because these cards have quite a bit of description on it um, and I just pulled out one. So I'm going to read uh, what this card says. And if you see the picture there, there you go. And the card says, sometimes, sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You could free yourself from the obstacles that, you, that you're so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you might act upon. And if I can just find my book, I'll read what's in the book. I figured with the Three of Swords, um, or if I get the Tower card, I think I'm just going to pull out one of these cards because they're quite informative. So in the book, it's numbered by 15, and it says, Choose Freedom. Uh, it says, Sometimes we can feel as though we're trapped. You may, perceive, you may perceive ourselves as being locked into a life that we don't want to like. We don't want or like, sorry. What we often don't realize is that we have, we have the key to this lock. We could free ourselves by making different choices. We can re release our hearts from our unhappiness by accepting responsibility for where we are, here and now. And by doing so, we can then step back into our own power. Choose freedom. Ask your angels to remove... If you don't believe in angels, you can just fill that in with whatever you do believe in. Choose freedom. Ask your angels to remove every negative thought from your mind and help you focus on the amazing possibilities. Step past your fears and out into the light where you can grow, evolve, evolve and fly. Don't allow anyone or anything, including your own self-doubts, to keep you from being the person you wish to be. Um, and it says additional meanings of this card is getting free of dependency or self-imposed limitations, ending an unhealthy relationship, forgiving yourself, and materialism. So there you guys go. Happy New Year, and I hope this helped you guys out. Bye.